Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Abu Bakr Siddiq Muhammad, uh, Commercial Travels. What are the responsibilities of a tour operator? The responsibilities of uh, a tour operator are many, uh, part of which we have mentioned during our first discussion, and that is to register the pilgrim. Of course, there are Hajj tour operators and there are Umbra tour operators. Umbra is of uh, lesser uh, commitment and engagement because it is for a very short uh, time. Uh, after purchasing your, 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 your ticket uh, through the tour operator and normally the problems we have is people thought they could with their experience just travel for Umrah once they can have their visas. This is where the problem is. This visa has a lot of uh, arrangements, it has a, a lot of things attached to it. Uh, whoever pays for visa only has not done much good to themselves. Each visa is attached to its accommodation in both Mecca and Medina and transportation. Where a pilgrim says, how much is your visa only? He's only allowing the tour operator make more money. Of course, maybe people are trying to stay away from various disappointments over years that tour operators are known for when it comes to operations. But really, we should find a way of uh, streamlining and making sure that people get value for money. Each visa, this visa that is sold to you at 150,000 and 120,000 and so on, it has embedded in it your accommodation, your transportation, your accommodation not only in Mecca but also in Medina. So before the, the partner of the company you are getting this visa from, gives that visa it has been paid for so when you pay for that visa only you have given free accommodation to the company and to the Saudi partner what you should do as a traveler is to say look what accommodation are you providing in Medina the the the, the tour operator would tell you what accommodation he's providing then you can say I do not desire that accommodation. I want a better accommodation or I want a lesser accommodation. That will be arranged and organized and, and the costing will be made so that you will be able to pay for what you will use. At the end of the day, whatever goes for the visa reduces your liability for the accommodation. So getting the visa only is not being wise at all. You are paying too much for what you are getting and giving free money to both the, the, the company here in Nigeria and the Saudi partner of that company. What pilgrims must do for Umrah is to ask for the type of accommodation. If it, if it suits their purpose, they can accept it. Otherwise, they can arrange and discuss with that company and in liaison with the Saudi partner they would be able to get at a better rate their, the type of accommodation that they want in both Mecca and Medina and they pay less. Uh, that is important and you can also cut out the, 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 the transportation or rearrange the transportation. What transportation is this? This is a bus that takes everybody. How much is that cost? It's so so number of real. Okay. I want a, 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 a saloon car or a limousine as they call it in, as they say in Saudi Arabia to carry me from the airport so that will be arranged and that money will be deducted from the visa fee and you will and, and you may add something which is very minimal to be able to be transported uh, transported that should be in 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 a car that suits your purpose um, that is important now uh, other things feeding and so on uh, in Umrah, uh, it all depends on the accommodation. Why is this important? It is important because you will see from the from the details of the passport, the type of accommodation must be entered before that visa is allowed, before that visa uh, is approved. So, uh, as I said, going just for 
the visa, you are not being wise, but you are undertaking a lot of expenses that are more than what you should have paid if you have asked enough questions. And some of the agents are not helping matters either because they will not explain exactly what it is. They accept everybody as you come. You want visa only? Yes, we have. And they will give you um, the price for visa only. As it is, what you pay for visa during entering your details, your passport details in the portal for Umrah, there is nothing that is attached to that that is of any significance. It is very, very minimal. Minimal. It's not, it's not uh, enough to, 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 to have any attention. But we call it visa fee altogether. That, that is a euphemism for making people pay for what they do not need and will not use. Once we'll be able to clear that, uh, we, we will make Umrah much better for people and each package <clears throat> must be very clear. Now these are the responsibilities of the tour operators as they affect the Umrah. That of Hajj is wider because it covers um, a range of activities aside accommodation in Mecca and Medina, transportation, arrival. Uh, there is the, the, the intense activity of the five days of Hajj which happens in the in the Mashai. Also, that covers uh, transportation. When we come to discuss further these issues, we will explain each class of uh, movement and activities as they come according to the responsibilities of both the tour operator and what the pilgrim also should do to augment his own part of the bargain. Uh, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.